Welcome in to Chase Field in downtown Phoenix. MLB The Show with a good one coming at you. The Atlanta Braves and the Arizona Diamondbacks. First pitch coming your way next. So just about set now and towing the slab, Dre Jamison. But Chris, he hasn't exactly been stellar here on his home mound. Well, I'll say this. Every player wants to perform well at their home ballpark, in front of their fans, in front of the city. And you know this guy no different. He wants to be more effective here. So, you know, you look at the numbers. They haven't been great at home. I'm sure he wants to turn that around, and we'll see if he's able to start that in this one. Ozzy Albies, the next to hit, takes ball one. Next offering is fouled back. Here's a 1-1. Swing and a miss as he chases that one darting out of the zone. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. So here's Murphy now. He's built his reputation as one of the top framers in the sport. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Today in Major League Baseball, we honor one of the greatest players in the history of the game, Lou Gehrig. It started in 2021, and today throughout Major League Baseball, we raise awareness for ALS, the disease that claimed the life of the great iron horse, Lou Gehrig. Marte makes the catch. That's out number two. Two outs, base is empty. And next for Atlanta, Ronald Acuna Jr. Hitting a ton of homers this year. Second most in the National League. And first offering is fouled off. When you think about the impact of Lou Gehrig on the world of sports, consider this. His number four was retired after he passed from ALS. It is the first number ever to be retired. Well, he's under it to make the catch in center. And... Back here in the desert, and on the hill, the big righty, Kyle Wright. Chris, he's got the ability to take control of a game when he's out there. Well, incredible mound presence, and he's going to attack hitters. Look at that strikeout per nine ratio over 10 coming into this start. So he's a pitcher that wants the ball. He's aggressive. He knows that he can get the swing and miss, especially when he needs it most. We'll see how effective he is in this one. Oh, swing and a miss. And that is strike two. Personally, Lou Gehrig Day means a ton to me. I lost a close friend to ALS in 2007, Tim Sheehy. And you're talking about a disease that is 100% fatal. And the average lifespan for people diagnosed with ALS is just between two and five years. Foul ball. One of the other important pieces as far as raising awareness for ALS is that it is necessary to raise money not just for research but also for patient care the average out-of-pocket cost for somebody with ALS is two hundred and fifty thousand dollars all these over to first in time and two quick outs in the bottom of the first here tonight Lourdes Goriel Jr. stands in here takes ball one low next no, pitch off the not. play ball two two outs and it's fouled away that one the other way and makes the play and that's out number three new inning getting started here's Austin Riley and the pitch this one smacked out to left center Marte makes the grab one down clearly ready to hit right there first pitch of the inning hits a bullet and it just is one of those bad luck ABs swing and a ball lined out towards center and that one hops the wall and he's got a double everything came together for him off the bat that one registered at 105 miles per hour man that is smoking, and these days you hear it all the time, but the numbers just don't lie. You can drive a ball like that more often. Ah, uh, ground ball, and that's through the infield. And they almost caught 
him, but he's back in time. Back-to-back -back base hits. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. Here's Marcelo Zuna. Gets under and pops it up. Rojas makes the play, and there's two down. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. Here's Kevin Pillar. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh, Man, this is pretty amazing. This guy is very efficient out there on the mound right now. Just nine pitches in the first. He's got a chance to keep it to single digits again. Who does that? Ball to strike. And now the count. One and two after the swing and the miss. That's one of those swing now before the pitchers even let go of the baseball. Next pitch misses way outside. And right back to the mound. In plenty of time to first out number three. Bottom of the second. Here's the cleanup hitter for the Diamondbacks. Christian Walker. Edge of the zone for a strike, and it's 0-1. You know, Christian Walker, a guy who had a really successful amateur career, his college ball with the South Carolina Gamecocks, they won the College World Series twice with Walker, and he tied the College World Series record for most career hits with 28. Making the calls behind the plate in this one is Woody Keller. Yeah, and Woody does a pretty good job back there, Boo. He's got a pretty fair strike zone most of the time. Maybe some inconsistency here or there, but usually he's back there doing a solid job. Christopher Morell in the box with one away as he takes ball one. Out in front and foul to the left side. Singy, what kind of strike zone is most frustrating for hitters? I'd say off the plate, away, and down. And why those are the toughest locations to hit the baseball. Under it is Acuna to make the grab. Two down. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. Uh -huh. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four guys, nicknames, hometowns, and as well hobbies listed, just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit. <laughs> That's great. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. <laughs> Got him. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Diamondback. Back here at the ballpark, top half of the third inning. And now Orlando Arcia. Swing and a miss, strike one. Arcia, 28 years old, and he was born in Venezuela. Pitch misses, one ball, one strike. Some of the greatest players in the history of the game were born in Venezuela, including one that finished with 500-plus home runs, 3,000-plus hits, and a triple crown. And it's Whoa. even up. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Ozzy Albies up to the plate. Went down on strikes his first time through. Swing and a miss. Going on. Yeah, but kind of hard to believe, but Ozzy Albies, first second baseman in Braves history to win a silver slugger. And he's won multiple silver sluggers now. Swing and a miss. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Here's Sean Murphy. Hit it well, but flied out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. On the ground to short. Throw pulls him off the bag, and he's safe. Runner at first with two away. Ronald Acuna Jr. getting ready to hit. 0 for 1 with a fly out. That misses. Ball one. Ball one. Acuna hitting third in the lineup, and he's a former rookie of the year. This to center field. Grabs it on the run, and that'll do it. Back here at Chase Field, here's the veteran outfielder, Cattell Marte. And that one pulled foul. The 0-1. 
Bounding ball here. Rolls foul. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit. Just not able to square it up. The punch out there. Definitely not a parte for Cattell Marte. Nick Ahmed here to hit. And that one sliced foul. That misses. No. It's a ball and two strikes. Got him swinging. Back to back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right oh. now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. Number 21 in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Next pitch is outside. When you get ahead in the count, there's no doubt that the success rate goes up. And that's what he's been doing. It's made a big oh. impact for him in recent games. And that one fouled off. Swings through it for the K. And that's strikeout number 100. Welcome back. John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Austin Riley. Pitch oh. misses inside. Ball one. Yeah, Austin Riley is one of those guys that has a lot of barrels, usually amongst the tops in the league in average exit velocity. Oh, now this is blasted. Way back there. On its way. Gone. Austin Riley goes deep. And they grab the lead. It's 1-0. Clearly some frustration out there on the mound right now. I mean, that ball was so close to going foul. Would have been a long strike, but instead, batter gets rewarded. Did a nice job of getting to the pitch and hitting it hard enough to get over the fence. Here's Matt Olson. And first offering is fouled off. Yeah, that's One outside. Oh, he's just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. Next offering ball misses. Two. Yeah, that's ball two. And now the count filled up three and two. Next offering is fouled back. 3 2 now. Swing at a slow roller. He steps on the bag, one away. That ground ball may have him back on track after the homer. It's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home run, not allowing it to stay in the head, but going to work at the next hitter, and a tough one at that. Rolls across the diamond, and there are two outs. Two outs, base is empty. Marcelo Zuna next up for the Braves first pitch not close swing and a miss spin rates outstanding on that high fastball really tough to hit in the air to left center. Marte going after it. Pulls it in after a long run. And that's the third out. Braves get one of the big fly. And the home team down to run. Major League Baseball is on the show. Bottom of the fourth. Here's Josh Rojas. Right back to work. And that drops in for a strike. 
Well, these Diamondbacks just lacking discipline at the plate in this ball game. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs, can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. On the ground, right side. The throw to first. One out in the bottom of the fourth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. McCarthy stands in Good here. Ball. Tried Good to play. hold back his swing there, but went around. Next Ooh. offering is in for a strike. The pitch. Oh. And down on strikes he goes. Two down. Oh, there's a three-pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball right now. Guriel stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. Next Love offering you. is down low. Now 2-0. Oh. The Diamondbacks still looking for their first hit in this one. And a weak ground ball to the left side. Riley fires the first. Out with room to spare, and that's the inning. So and welcome back. We go to the top of the fifth, and now Kevin Pillar. Lined in the left center, base hit. Now he'll turn for second. Not in time. He's got a double. Here's Orlando Arcia. Good eye right there. One ball. Pilar stands at second with no outs. That's ripped. Base hit. Here's the throw to the plate. It's off the mark, and he scores. It's 2 nothing. Comes through with the RBI. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride low, out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Back to the leadoff spot in the Braves lineup. And now it's the switch hitting second baseman, Ozzy Albies. On the ground, right side. And Albies is retired. Sean Murphy next up for the Braves. And the first pitch misses for ball one. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more. And that one is lifted in the air. And he makes the catch. Runner tags for home. Throw is offline, and he scores. And they lead by three. There you go. Nice little RBI there. It's a great at bat. Got the job done. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. So, Boog, you're the fashion police. What do you got on Ronald Acuna and the way that he accessorizes the uni? Oh, Siggy, I dig it. The Braves' base color is red and blue, but he adds the yellow. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. So they get a couple of runs on two hits, no errors, and no one left on. Walker in the box now. No balls and a strike. Ripped on the ground a second. Throw on to Olsen. And the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. Now up next for Arizona, Christopher Morrell. First That's pitch just misses. 1-0. The D-backs hitless so far in the game. Next offering is in for a strike. And a ball oh, evens the count. Huh. And down on strikes. Picks up strikeout number seven. No, just excellent location on that inside fastball. Really locked him up. And a hitter it's not typically what you're looking for you're trying to protect away no and ball. then in so you can be a little bit tardy with two strikes hard to tell if he was fooled or if he thought it'd be called a ball oh, but oh either God. way that's a really nice pitch righty to the plate 
That Ball just misses. Two. two balls and a strike. Two, one. Swings through that one. Well, this offense has just been locked down. Almost five full innings of shutout baseball. Next offering is fouled back. Got him. That's his second strikeout. We're back, and they make a change to start the sixth. The new pitcher, Jose Ruiz. He doesn't get a lot of strikeouts compared to other relievers, so he relies on getting that soft contact and the defense doing work behind him. They'll have to be in their toes with him on the ball. Now this is in the air down the line. And that is a foul ball. One of the things you look at with Austin Riley, he was drafted in the first round of 2015. The Braves were one of the only teams looking at him as a position player. Most every other team wanted him as a pitcher. But Austin Riley hated pitching. Right-handed reliever. Bows it back with two strikes. Kicks and fires. Fights that one away. Still one and two. Next offering misses down and away. Line drive. Takes it in for the out. Matt Olson up to the plate. Ruiz, 6'1 righty, 245 pounds, and they traded for him earlier this year. And the right-hander deals towards first, and he picks it up in foul territory. That misses the zone. It's a ball and two strikes. Activity in the Arizona bullpen. Kyle Nelson up and throwing for manager Troy Lovello. McCarthy settles under it. Pulls it in for the out. And now Vaughn Grissom. And there's the strike. Wouldn't chase one, one. that time. The 1-1 one, one is cut on and missed to the pitch upstairs. At the belt and fires. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Marte should have it. That is the inning. Nothing to it. Back here at the ballpark, digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Cattell Marte. Right side. All these. Throws to first. They get the out on Marte. He's controlling things out there on the mound, not messing around at all. He's been in attack mode since the very start. Ahmed, the Nets to hit, takes outside. The Diamondbacks yet to pick up a hit here. Bounce to the right side. Low throw, and he can't take it out. Here's the speedy catcher, number 21. Now and ball one. Now these guys definitely one looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Pitch is in there. It's two and two.
Next offering is fouled back. Ahmed over at first with one away. The next offering misses. Three and two down. And ball four to a board. Well, this could be the start of something. They haven't found a way to score yet, but now's their chance to change that. Rojas, the next to hit, takes low for a ball. Next ah. offering is in for a strike. One out, runners at first and second. Ground ball to the right side. There's one. Throw to first, but he beat it. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder Jake McCarthy. Out towards left center. Ozuna should have it. He's got it. And that'll end the inning. Diamond. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound. Kyle Nelson. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. And first offering is fouled off. Kyle. And a pitch. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. And now the lefty. Foul ball still 0-2. Next offering is foul back. Going to now. Stays alive. Five foul balls in a row. I have no idea what that feels like, but you got to love this battle. Just wondering who's going to blink first. And now oh. one and two. Wings and misses struck him out. Well, one of the things that hitters will do is they'll look for that red dot on the baseball as it's coming in to let them know what the pitch is. And if they see the red dot, it's typically a slider. But when a guy's got a really tight one with high spin rates, very difficult to determine. And that's probably why we saw a swing and miss right there. Just a nasty pitch. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. and misses it's a strikeout very strong coming out of the pen so far as he punches out the first two batters he's faced in this one getting straight to work man it's talked about a lot but relievers are just so electric That's these right. days he's not fun at bats if you're a hitter I'm so glad I'm retired and a foul ball left side and the 0-2 and that one got a piece of him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. The well, biggest concern, other than injury, after a moment like that, is just how the pitcher will respond. You know, sometimes a guy will lose confidence in a pitch when he's hit somebody. Albies now at the plate as he swings through strike one. The 0-1. Swing and a miss. Chased it out of the zone. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Set for the last half of the seventh. And now it's going to be Lourdes Goriel Jr. Pitch misses inside. And it's 1-0. 1-0. Strike one on the inside corner. him looking. Couldn't pull the trigger on a fastball at the knees. And the first ball, pitch misses down. for ball one. Now one and one. One ball, one In there, base hit! And the bid for history is gone.
So history wasn't meant to be in this one, but it's been quite the performance. And that's tough for a pitcher to swallow. I mean, when you're right on the brink of a no-hitter, just pitched a heck of a game, just couldn't make it to the finish line. And that one fouled off. Kicks and deals. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. This is Corbin Carroll. In for a strike. It's 0-1. Walker off of first with two away. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. They stop the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. Cattell Marte up to the plate. That one finds the zone. Strike one. These fans, they are ready to cheer about something. Strike two. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. Tried to check his swing. Appeal to third. No swing. Just held it back there. The tying run at the plate. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. I think the key. Austin Adams takes over on the mound. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Murphy, now in the box, comes up empty with a swing there. I think he was sitting off speed there. Next pitch misses, and one and one. That one ripped, and now maybe extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. The throw in, into second with a double, and they've got something brewing now. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Here's Acuna now. That's to third, and it stays fair. Murphy around third. Now a long throw home. Runner from second scores as they add on. And it's 4 nothing. Seeing some good swings from him right now with consecutive extra base hits. Just one of those seen high base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit. But sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. So man aboard. Austin Riley next up for the Braves. Pickoff throw. Acuna dives back in. Shoots a line drive single into right center. McCarthy fires it to the plate, but it's offline. It's 5 0. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. New arm out of the bullpen, Miguel Castro. Oh, he's having an excellent season so far. ERA is under two. A lot of flexibility coming out of the bullpen. Here is Matt Olson. Oh, right to the backstop. So a wild pitch allows the runner to advance. Runner at third here. Nobody out. Back to the mound. It hit him. And they can't make the play. A run comes in to score. And now we'll see if he's okay on the mound. Catcher coming out to check on him. It looked like it got him on his back leg. So you'll wonder if that might be a problem for him in terms of pushing off the rubber. Yeah, it's a great point. And we'll have to see how he looks. But to me, it appears he's moving pretty well. I think it's just going to sting for a while, but hopefully nothing more. Grissom, the batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. Fly ball to right. 
Dunks one into left. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. They are really feeding off each other. That's five hits in a row. With the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a lawn dart in there, and he found a way. Up the middle. Oh, great stop. Flips it from the ground. That's one. On to first, double play. Well, off the bat, we thought that was going to be a single, not a double play. Just a great job. Dives, knocks it down, feeds it to the second baseman. And a nice turn around the bag. Really great job by those two. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. Strike two. Well, you got the hitter already chasing that nasty slider. If you're on the mound, you just want to expand the zone right now. Get a swing and miss and get through this at bat. And that one is lifted in the air. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And the inning. Back here at Chase Field. Here's the shortstop at the play. Nick Ahmed. That one hooked foul. Right. Still out there to pitch the eighth and working with a big lead. He's been excellent. Really on his game in this one. And at this point, he wants to finish what he started. Acuna has it sized up. And there's one away. Is there a debate to be had about shutting him down, maybe to preserve some bullets given the score? Absolutely. When you consider over the course of a long no. season, guys putting a lot of stress on that elbow, on that shoulder, but you also have to pry the ball out of a hand of a guy like this because he's so competitive. Next pitch downstairs, 2 and 0. Oh. On the ground, right side. Albies over to first, in time. And a couple of quick outs. In the air, fairly deep to right field. Nice grab on the run. And that is that. Andrew Chafin enters the game. I think it's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but he's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. Chafin measures six feet, two inches. He features a sinker, a slider, and he works in a four-seamer. Got him swinging. Here is Ozzie Albies up to hit. Struck out on just three pitches last time. First offering oh, misses down. the mark. And that one hammered back there. And that one is into the pool and gone. Ozzy Albies goes yard, his 17th of the year. And they add a run. It's 7 0. see a guy take a slider on the outside part of the plate and hit an opposite field home run fires you up because not only is he flexing the muscles to show the pop that kind of approach you'll hit for a high average as well one down and here's the catcher Sean Murphy swing and a miss and it's all in one And yeah, that's downstairs and outside. So now one and two. And here it comes. And now it's even up. down looking for the strikeout throws him with the heater at the knees here's Ronald Acuna Jr. at the plate 
This guy has turned into a beast. And first offering is fouled off. That one the other way. And that's a base hit. And that means Austin Riley will have a chance to hit. So two down. Austin Riley, the next to hit. He's already homered here in this one. Checks over to first. Back safely. Ball one and a pitch inside. One ball, no strike. Next ball. one misses, and it's 2-0. and oh. After giving up that home run earlier, it just doesn't seem like he wants to challenge him. On the ground, right side. Rojas throws on to first. That's out number three. Albies with the key hit for Atlanta. It's now 7-0. It's Major League Baseball on the show. So bottom of the ninth, now the number two hitter, Jake McCarthy. Down the left field line, base hit. Takes the turn, he's digging for second. And he's there with a leadoff double. First pitch swing in, went up there with a the plan to be aggressive. Then pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Here's Guriel. In for a strike, going one. McCarthy at second with nobody out. Tried to check his swing there. Now it appealed to first. And that's a swing, according to umpire Ed Drummond. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout, and there's one away. Walker stands in now, looks at that one inside. This one kicks away a little as he can't squeeze it. And the runner holds. Runner at second here, one gone. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. Now just about to hit that century mark, 100 pitches for this game. And yeah, there's a ball. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. That's back there. And gone! Home run number 10 on the year, and they cut into the lead. It's 7 2. <laughs> Knew what pitch he wanted to hit, spit on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. Christopher Morell stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Liner caught it second. Nothing you can do about those as a hitter. Even though you know that, they still drive you absolutely crazy. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. That's back there. And it slams off the bottom of the wall. And that's a two-out double. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Here's Cattell Marte. That one is absolutely belted. That's back. That one is gone. Cattell Marte goes deep. It's his sixth home run of the season. It's 7-4. That was blasted. Absolutely. No doubt off the bat. got in the jet stream on a line drive we saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders which is usually bad news and all of a sudden they're back in this ball game so up next Nick Ahmed a new pitcher in the game Rysel Iglesias 
and he's done a great job keeping the ball in the park this year. The numbers stack up with some of the best in the game. Number 26. Right now. There's a strike. One ball, one strike. There's a swing and a miss. He has a tendency to chase out of the zone, and that slider that's down, that's one of his money pitches to get that swing and miss. Two balls, two strikes. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Well, with this sixth win in a row, all of a sudden, you start to look around, up and down the lineup, to your left, to your right as a player, and you say, you know what, we're good. Uh, we may have had some tough times earlier on, but this is a good team, and you start to expect this kind of play out of yourselves. We'll see if this translates into a longer winning streak than it is right now. This one finishes with a final of 7-4. to four. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon.